on the tee from England, Danny Willett. Under three wood, looks happy. Although he is off the fairway right. High up. Clever play for Danny. Oh. Well done, Danny Willard. It. It's all about the strike on those ones up the hill into the grain. You really have to hit it solid. <laughs> Tee shot at the second for Danny Willard. Well, perfect. Absolute <laughs> flush there from Willett. It's not going to be the easiest of putts, but it's a great second shot. Just trying to coax this one within three feet. Beautiful. There in the end, right to left. This is not an overly difficult shot, except for he can't see where he's going. Yep. So important to keep, not lose him, keep the powers. Brilliant, Danny. Absolutely brilliant. Great putt. Stays at 16 under. Great when you hit it like that. Only has about five yards of green to work with between the fringe and the hole. Just caught the edge there. That's a, a good shot. Good try. Just right round behind the hole from Daniel there. Straight at it. Go on. Go oh, on. No. Just had to go over there. Danny well below the level of the green. He's going to try and run it up to the top tier here. It's going to have a big left to right. First couple of bounces. I just flew it further than he had intended. That was a hard shot. Might try and come back. Here it comes. Back off that slope. Other players all trying to catch Danny Willett who rolls another one in. Backed away once, Sam. The wind was changing directions, kind of put him off. It's changing between from the right and in his face. No. Danny Willett. Gotta be careful with this one. Side right, a little right to left in this. He does pop beautifully, doesn't he? 
That was one thing he never lost in his game. So Danny Willett, great part there. If he lands this just a little bit on the green, it should roll out to the hole. Got 13 to work with. Shot from the Willie there, Willie there. Just turned away at the last moment there. Good try. Oh, The first bogey of the round, Danny Willett at 10. Well, never really gave it a chance, so that's going to give a little bit of hope to the chasing pack. Well, it should be about a 9 iron for Danny, this. You can see the flag. He's just asking it to go, and that's a tricky part this flag stick. Once it gets to the green, it's just gently downhill. from where he was. Oh, yeah. Immediately hits it. Short as well. That was a really poor one from Danny. The lead is now one. Two bogeys in the last three holes. Good rhythm in that swing. He's pulled it. from Willett. That's a beauty there from Danny. He has no problem drawing the ball. No, he took it out to the right. Coming back in nicely. Is it enough? Stay there. That's an excellent shot from Danny. That's perfect too from Willett. So he'll now go into the lead on his own. He was tied with Matt Wallace playing the hole. Six to carry the fringe on this line. We want the little field shot. Didn't hit the big one. Another beauty straight out the flag. Just needed another ounce of pace, Danny. Great line, but just not hard enough. Good. How's the distance? Oh, that's magnificent, Danny Willett. There's the shot of a champion. What a shot from Willett on 17. Magnificent, Danny Willett. Two clear, one to go. He's leaking right. Is he leaning left? It's dangerous, it's dangerous. These cameramen in the right, I wouldn't be there, but they want the best view. Oh, he's got great contact, it's going right a little. 
Oh, it's magnificent, Danny boy. Oh, the pipes, the pipes will be playing. What a great shot. He just said yes to himself there. Did you see that? As soon as he struck it, yes, he's done it. Just close enough. There it is, Danny Willett. The comeback is complete. He's a DP World Tour champion, 2018. To our 2018 champion from England, Danny Willett. Danny, 953 days since you won the Masters, you're back in the winner's circle. <laughs> How sweet does that feel, bearing in mind everything that you've been through since then? Yeah, it's, um, it's been a tricky old road, so, uh, yeah, it's um, probably not going to sink in for a while, but, yeah, with all the ups and downs and injuries and this and that, um, like I said, the body's feeling a lot better, but and swings and moves are good and everything's good, but... Um, you know, there were times that you're never quite sure if you're going to be able to do it again. And um, yeah, pretty special. We haven't seen too many eagles on this golf course over the four days, but that one and two really set the tone and, and gave you that little bit of an early advantage. Yeah, we've not really held anything of note all week. Um, we've hit it pretty close and um, and took a lot of nice chances. But yeah, that was one of them real real bruises when uh, when it was tracking there a few foot short. Though it might just might just stay a little bit short and then obviously caught it. And yeah, great great way to uh, to kind of start the day. Bit of a blip in the middle, but you managed to recover with some birdies on the back nine as well. But were there a few nerves out there today? I guess there must have been. <laughs> yeah, there definitely was. Um, yeah, we were nervous right from the get-go. I was nervous last night, you know. I'm doing everything right, but, you know, you're still going to get nervous. This is still what we what we do our job for. We do it to be in this position and to feel them nerves and to see if we can handle them. And um, for the most part, I think we did a pretty good job of that today. You must have feared the worst on 18 as well, but it was a fantastic shot off the rocks to, to put you back in position. Yeah, we obviously hit three with there to give us that area. I've hit it pretty good and it's obviously gone a little bit further than we were anticipating. Yeah, it's, it's obviously, you know, I said it yesterday, I said it all week. If, if you're going to win, you need to play some good golf and you need to have a few breaks go your way. And, you know, if, I mean, yeah, if that goes in, you drop back and, you know, you can still make a six. But it was, it kind of gave us, you know, that, that little bit more cushion there once that second shot was in play to, uh, to kind of really enjoy, um, really enjoy it. DP World Tour Championship winner, you're also the latest Rolex Series winner as well, which means the caddy gets a nice gold bib for next year, I'm sure he'll be pleased with that, but I mean that is the magnitude in this massive tournament, isn't it, and I'm sure when it sinks in you'll be very pleased with your attitude this week. It is, it's, it's one of them, you know, um, uh, like I said, I've worked really hard with Falls, with Kev, with Pete Harrison and Garby and the guys from Callaway to, we've had to change a lot since moving to Falls, we've had to change a lot of swing stuff and, and in doing that we've changed a lot of our numbers and with that obviously the guys the guys that are setting up the clubs need to do need to do a hell of a good job to kind of keep up with what we're doing, um, you know, and, and, and fitting it out, and you know, kind of really the last six months they've done a great job of, of doing all of that, and um, and like I said, every every week they're sending texts, um, you know, wishing me well, hope everything's all right, and just you know, I've got so many people around me that are here and have been here through a lot of really really poor stuff, um, and it's nice that obviously everyone's here, you know, for for this. Great way to finish the season. Congratulations. Thanks, Pat. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.